Hey guys, so new video, finally. Uh, first thing you're gonna notice about this is that I finally figured out a setup for filming traditional art that isn't crap! Uh, so if you watch any of the older videos I have on this channel of me filming, like, traditional art, you'll notice that's at a weird angle. That's because I was using my laptop webcam. Yeah. Uh, for this setup, I'll have to get a photo later and put it on Instagram or something, but basically, uh, I have a bookshelf over my desk. And, so it's like, you know, it's over the desk. There's a book on top of the bookshelf that's lying flat. My iPhone is hanging over that book and is being weighted down by a ruler with weights at the end to keep it from toppling over. And it works. I'll take it. Second thing you're going to notice about this video is that this dragon is not good. This video is... Annie desperately needed to upload something and this is the only footage she had. Also, everything I learned about that I didn't know about drawing dragons the hard way. Dragons are weird anatomy-wise because they're, you know, reptilian-ish. So it's like, you know, they are composite of different animals, but I went into it thinking like, hey, I've drawn animals, how hard can this be? I realized about 30 minutes in that I have never drawn a lizard. Ever. I've also never drawn... Well, okay, no, I have drawn birds, but they've been like geese, so it's a different kind of bird. I've certainly never drawn a bat. Basically, I spend too much time drawing cats. <laughs> so, I definitely am going to work on fixing that later. Um, not now, though, because I have to draw cats for a super secret project I'm working on. I'll be doing an announcement later on that. For now, um, honestly, the biggest thing I'm noticing here I need to improve is just, like, the torso of the body. The legs could be improved on, and the claws could, uh, like, the paws could also be improved on, but I'm pretty sure if I just did it, uh, if I drew this again, like, now, I could do an improvement. But, like, I'm not really sure what's up with that body. I think what happened was I tried to draw a mammalian body, but I gave it reptile legs, and I think that's why it's not working. I don't know. Um, honestly, the main reason I'm uploading this is accountability. So, in three months. So, okay, it's April 2017 now. April, May, June. So in June 2017, I'm going to draw another dragon. It's going to be roughly the same type of dragon. I'm going to allow myself some freedom to change any design things that aren't working, like that head. But three months from now, I'm going to come back and I'm going to redraw this dragon. And we're going to see if I've actually learned anything from the daily gesture drawing I'm doing. Hey! Side promo! You wanna see daily gesture drawings of different animals? Follow my Instagram! Uh, this drawing actually was kinda like the final thing to convince me that I need to really work on gesture drawing animals, specifically. So I've been doing this uh, challenge that I'm calling hashtag animal a day, because I'm super creative, <laughs> where I'm drawing an animal a day. It it's what it says on the tin right now. I'm doing cats for the super secret project, but I'm also going to be doing uh, a lot of birds, because there's also a bird involved in the project. And I'm definitely going to do some lizards so I can actually know what I'm doing when I come back to this dragon, so... Stick around here until June and you can see me draw a better dragon and I'll make a what I learned about drawing dragons video or something. I will say I do like that hatching on the wings. I I'm not really sure why, I think it's just like the contrast it gives, but I don't know, it's actually kind of nice. I don't know, the wings are probably the best part of this, which is not saying a lot. But hey, it's a dragon. It's my first one, and it's recognizable as a dragon, so that's like, you know, it's not 100% a failure. You can look at it and tell what I was trying to draw. Still not putting this anywhere. Anybody who wants to hire me can see it as an example of Annie's great art. 
except for this YouTube channel. Which, by the way, if you want to hire me, please look at my other work. Please, I promise it's better than this. So yeah, that's up for that's all for this video. Um, if you liked it, which you probably liked my commentary more than the art, um, you can hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you subscribe, you'll you know get a notification in three months when I redraw this guy. And thank you so much for watching.